we were excited about doing the chandelier and the lights because speaking of um, saffron fields, the, the color fields, and I think they evoke saffron and wine to me in a way, and the transparency. The um, pendant lights actually kind of look like a, a glass of wine with the wine and sitting at the bottom of it, which is kind of beautiful reference. So I always like to have some sort of a conceptual reference in the work or have it relate to something other than, you know, blowing a bubble. That's one of my favorite parts about blowing glass is that it's a uh, it's physical, it's almost like an athletic sport as well as it's mental and we have to always be thinking a few steps ahead of ourselves. So I'm thinking about where he's going in three steps and he's thinking about where I'm going. So it looks really fluid, but it's definitely premeditated. Well, I think also that there's, there's moments in the making that are really slow and methodical. Um, and that's like when we're gathering the glass because you get the glass and then you're waiting and you're waiting for it to cool and then you're waiting for it to heat. And then when we're actually making the form, it, you know, it all happens really quickly. It's the, the glass every time will be a little different depending on the color and uh, how much glass you have, how hot it is. So each piece, you're trying to get the same shape at the end and you know that they're going to be a little different because they're handmade. But um, you'll never make the same piece in the same moves. Yeah, you're, you're reacting to the material and you're trying to come up with an end product or a, a desired shape, but you're, you're always focusing on the material and it's different every time. The amount of color that we use, the thickness, it's all, it all varies a little bit. And for us, it's more about forms and subtleties of form. With lighting, we'll start with the bulb and, and start with how is that bulb going to look inside of here and then go to the fixture and do you want the fixture to be seen or do you want to hide the fixture and then so you work backwards from the hardware and then figure out the glass and the shape that's going to work best with what the space and uh and what kind of light you actually want and then i think you know you want the overall look to you know the colors to go well and the shape to go with the architecture and you want it to have sort of a sexiness to it So the backdrop is really quite neutral. Uh, we wanted to uh, put um, brighter, warmer um, palette of colors. And so the lighting that you see here um, is being made by Esk. And we've chosen a collection of jewel tones that are reds and yellows and oranges that speak both to the saffron um, field as well as the wine itself.